please welcome Helen Hogue. Kevin Hogan out of Florida. He's coming off a loss to Victor Hunsacker from the Shark Tank. But he has nothing to be ashamed of, Richard. That lie, he was all over Victor Hunsacker. Opened up Victor Hunsacker's face. And Victor pulled off a submission late in the fight. He pulled it off. Kevin Hogan's here to redeem himself. It's an excellent fight. One of, the, one of my favorite fights in the Wet n Wild show. We'll see if he can redeem himself here. It's gonna be a tough, tough fight with Chris Brennan. Yeah, it's a tough fight to come back and try to redeem yourself. Oh, yeah. With Chris, Chris Brennan, it's a... Very experienced fighter, it's not gonna you know, be this easy. guy's good, yeah. <clears throat> Brennan always comes in great shape and everything, but hey, you know, as you said, uh, you gave this guy a good rap, so hopefully we'll get a good fight out of this. Yeah, he likes to ground and pound. He likes to strike on the ground. He never really looks for submissions. He just likes to beat people up on the ground. That's his, that's his forte. I'm standing here with KOTC veteran Kevin Hogan. Kevin, you're coming off a loss a couple months ago in KOTC, Victor Hunsacker. What have you learned from that loss? Uh, to not expand so much energy, to not throw so many punches, slow down just a little bit, you know? It was a loss, but it's one of those that, uh, it was a fun fight, I had a good time, you know? I thought I dominated the fight, I got caught. That's the way the sport goes. You know, sometimes you're gonna make a mistake, you're one mistake away from losing every fight, you know? You're taking a big step here, you're fighting the former KOTC middleweight champion, Chris Brennan. I know you've seen a lot of tape on him. How are you gonna approach this fight? Uh, Chris is really a dangerous guy. I see a lot. He's uh, probably one of the best middleweight 175 uh, submissionists I've seen. He, uh, he brings a lot to the table as far as submissions. He's still a dangerous striker. The tapes I've seen that, that were guys, good wrestlers, pushed him and uh, kept the pressure on him. Uh, he may have got away sometime and, and got a good kick off or, or got a good submission off, but they dominated the fight, and that's my whole game plan. Keep the pressure on him as much as possible, you know. I'm gonna, he's definitely gonna get hit a lot, you know, and that's, that's the plan. Please welcome the former King of the Cage World Middleweight Champion, Chris Brennan! Well, I can't say enough good things about this guy. Not only is he one of the best fighters in the world at his weight, but he's running a tip-top, great fighting academy. He's got about 10 active fighters, maybe more. This guy's tough. He talks the talk, he walks the walk. He's beaten Joe Stevenson, got him in a triangle back in, I think, KOCT, KOTC, excuse me, two. He knocked out Antonio McKee. Excellent kick right to the jaw, put him to sleep. Kevin Hogan's got his hands full tonight. Uh, yeah, I think so. He pays uh, so much respect, doesn't he, to Marco Huas. Said he helped him in every aspect of his game, in conditioning and striking and groundwork. So once again, you get a great coach that's been there and done it. You know, it's, it's such, a, such an advantage. And he's got his whole school here watching, cheering him on, pulling for him. It's a lot of pressure, Richard. Mm -hmm. He's fighting for his whole academy here. I'm standing here with former KOTC middleweight champion, Chris Brennan. Chris, what have you been doing since you lost the belt? Training very hard. I fought once uh, two weeks after that to redeem myself real quick and won by armbar in a minute. And I uh, haven't fought since then. It's been about seven months, I think. Uh, just training my ass off right now. Is a rematch with Joe Hurley something that uh, you want bad? Um, I did want it real bad, but rumor has it he dropped down to 155, so I don't know if I'm going to get that. And then uh, Gil Castillo got the belt, and he's running now, so I don't know what to do. Based on what you know from Kevin Hogan, or about Kevin Hogan, how do you see this fight going? I want to keep it on the feet and try to kickbox with him. I mean, he's a lot shorter than I am, so I think i got to reach on him. Um, if it seems to, or I'm getting in trouble on the feet, I'll take him down, and I, I think I... The guy shouldn't have too much of a problem on the ground. He's very aggressive, non-stop punching. You know, last fight I saw, he was, uh, instead of defending the submissions that were applied to him, he beat his way out of them. So uh, I know I'm going to get hit today, win or lose. You know, I'm, uh, I know I'm going to get hit, but I'm prepared for whatever they got to, whatever he's got to bring to me. Here we go, round one. 
Chris Brennan in the black board shorts. Kevin Hogan, the black trunks with white trim. Look for Kevin Hogan to shoot immediately. There he goes, Absolutely. he wants to clinch. He doesn't want to stand with Chris Brennan. Like you said earlier, Chris Brennan got his stand up together when he started training with Marco Huas. Marco Huas, yeah, completed his whole game. He's here tonight as well, cheering him on. Kevin Hogan wants to drag Chris Brennan down. Does not want, he, wa he watched the fight with Antonio McKee. Oh, there you go. Got slammed right in his back. On the back, but Chris Look Brennan's that, in the triangle position. Look how high position. those legs are, triangle position. It's okay, position. he's got him in a triangle position right here. We're Can just, he finish it off here? This is bad for Hogan. He needs, no, he's, and Hogan's, I think he's uh, out. No, not quite. Bad position for Hogan. Especially against an experienced uh, jiu-jitsu fighter Looks like, like, uh, like Chris is switching to the arm bar. Switching oh, to the arm bar. He's... he's going right to it. Still has a chance to pull it off. Kevin Hogan got caught in an arm bar in his last fight. He doesn't want it to happen again. Uh-oh. He's oh. got it. It's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. Oh, he's no, out. He Kevin Hogan's it. out. Boy, that was close. Yeah, that was close. Good attempt. Good, good, good job by Hogan getting out of that. Chris Brennan did not hesitate. Went right for the attacks. Oh, there he goes he's again. He's getting that leg time. up. Kevin Hogan, uh, he, he has the fight right where he wants it, but he's not really landing any shots at this point. He's he attempted a little elbow yeah, there. Yeah, trying to slip some elbows in across. Chris they're Brennan dangerous too, of course, those, those elbows. Is, even though they're short, they, they can still rip the skin. You know, they're cut. That, what's, that's what makes them very dangerous. Yeah, there you go he's, again. Yeah, See he's that? landing those little short shots. That's the way the ties throw them, you know, and it, it tears the skin. It's not a matter of the impact so much. It's just the ripping effect that it has on the face. Yeah, he's got to be really careful, Chris Brennan. Any of those little short elbows lands. Oh, he's going oh, for the triangle. Went right for nope. the triangle again. Excellent right guard. Out. Excellent guard work by Chris Brennan. Very nice. Trying to control the arms now. Keep him down. He's got to be careful. Because, like you said, Hogan's got some good punches there. You know, he doesn't want to let him uh, load them off. That's worse. Boy, he likes those elbows, doesn't he? Yes. He lands a couple of those. Can rip, rip Chris Brennan's face right open. And Chris goes going to the sweep. Brennan's position. again trying to keep his face tucked right in nice and tight so he doesn't wear any of those on the chin. Kevin Hogan doing a great job of He's keeping doing a Chris good job. on his back, controlling him. Keeps pushing his face back, pushing his head back down into the mat, keep him down. Chris thought about a heel hook right there. Kevin Hogan did a good job at defending. Well, we all know that Kevin Hogan's excellent at defending against heel hooks. Victor Hunsacker, who's known for heel hooks, could not pull one off. Had several attempts, could not pull it off. There Chris there goes. Go, Chris. Excellent job oh, getting nice. on his knees. Oh, did you see that sprawl from Hogan? Came straight back with a knee. Nice defense. Nice counter attempt. Kevin Hogan doing a great job of keeping Chris on his back. It looked like Chris reversed the position there for a second. Great base by Kevin Hogan. Yeah, he's getting those underhooks. He's manipulating him well, isn't he? Hogan doing a great job there because Brennan needs to get out of there. He's One minute! One minute! Well, Chris... Chris Bob Brennan's in, in a bad position here. Kevin Hogan just passed his guard. Oh, he's getting back up. Excellent movement by Chris oh. Brennan. Oh, Chris Brennan just turning this fight around. Landing short little elbows. Oh, there you Big go. Big shots. Landing shots from the half guard. But still, Hogan doing a good job keeping his head in tight to the body. Chris oh, Brennan he's in the mouth. a few there, though. Oh, look at this. Oh, triangle from the top. Triangle from the top. Can Chris Brennan pull it off? There's only seconds left in the bout. No. He loses no, it. He lost it. Boy, that was a nice attempt. You don't see that often. Yes, it looks like he's setting up for the triangle one more time. He's got his left knee high. He's trying to get it over. Right there, trying it one more time. I don't think there's enough time in the fight left. He's pulling the head down. 
right there. Oh! The, the round is over. Larry Lalas did not hear the bell. The round is over. Oh, now we heard it. oh, did you see that? He described his arm, nearly had a Kimura on him then. Excellent submission attempt. Wow, that turned around in the end, didn't it? I think uh, Hogan was very lucky at that stage. Brennan was really going to work. And Chris Brennan showing why he's at the top of his weight class. Second round, Chris Brennan in the black, long shorts. Kevin Hogan in the black shorts with the white trim. Oh, a couple of shin kicks there. Oh, nice ones from Brennan. Kevin Hogan looking to Look at that, try trying to, to use the knees, up. yeah. Oh, he landed one. Looks like he stunned Chris Brennan for a second there. Brennan throwing a nice counter knee himself. Oh, trying to bring one Big right knee. up to the chin. Big knees and punches by Chris Brennan. Kevin Hogan counters with the knee himself. Big right hand just misses by Chris Brennan. Brennan now trying to land some knees of his own. As I said, even if they hit the arms, they can still do damage. Kevin Hogan going for a Kimura. Oh, oh. Sakuraba style, he's turning oh, it into oh, an armbar. Oh, he's got the armbar. He's Chris got it, Brennan he's got it, he's got it. Got it. That's Excellent it. technique. Excellent. Chris Brennan took what looked like a submission against him. A Kimura Reversed turned, it around. Reversed it. Beautiful. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner due to a tap out from an armbar at one minute, eight seconds of the second round. For the winner, Chris Brennan. Beautiful technique by Chris With Brennan. That hand to Mr. Kevin Hogan. That was nice. That was beautiful. Finish Here we go. Here's the replay. Kevin Hogan about to pull off a Kimura Sakuraba style. Look how Chris Brennan spins all the way around and turns it into an arm bar for himself. It doesn't get any better than that, That's people. That's beautiful. Beautiful display of technique. Okay, Rafael Torre here with Chris Brennan, the West Side Strangler, with a big win over Kevin Hogan. So, uh, you change your weight a little bit lately? Yeah, I'm trying to get in some shape. You know, the last, last time I fought, I tried to cut weight the night before. Never wrestled, so it didn't work for me this time. I've been in shape for 175 for about a month and a half now, so I feel good. Got a couple abs. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, did you want to win it this way, or would you rather win it with strikes? Um, I wanted a mountain strike, but I also wanted a mounted triangle. I went for it, but I... Got a little high and he got out. Um, I, I wanted to win with strikes. And as you can see, I threw a little bit on the feet, you know, landed some knees, landed some shots. And then he went for a Kimura on me. And I don't know if you see my video series, but I'm the master of the fucking Kimura. He went for my arm and I was like, beautiful. I just walked around and took his arm. Perfect. <laughs>